Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are learning about markups and markdowns. Uh, another word for markdown is a discount. Oh, come on. Work. Is a discount. There we go. Everybody likes discounts. It means you're, means you're going to pay less for something. Markups are when you pay more for something. All businesses mark up their products. I shouldn't say all. Most businesses mark up their products. That, that is how they make money. All right, let's look at this first problem. It costs Microsoft $125 to make the Xbox One. If Jeremy pays $500 for it, what was the markup rate? All right, this is going to be figured a little bit differently than what we've been working on but uh, you can still do it with a proportion or an equation. I'll show you both. I'll start with the proportion. We're looking for the rate, which means a percent, so we're looking for, the, for what's over 100. And the original cost of the Xbox to Microsoft is what's going to go in our of spot, in our total spot, because that's, that's where the that's where the cost of the Xbox started. Now Jeremy is going to pay $500. So we're looking for the percent, you know, what percent of 125 is 500? All right, when we do our cross products, we actually end up with, and I'm not going to do all the cross products here because you guys know how to do that by now. Um, but X is equal to 400. That does not mean the markup rate was 400. It's close. If 125 is 100 percent, then 500 has gone up by 300 percent. Okay, the mark up, the amount above the price is 300 percent okay 125 is 100 the 500 is the 400 and you know so how much did it go up from 100 to 400 it went up 300 percent and there was an increase of 300 uh, percent the phrasing of it's a little uh, can be a little tricky, uh, but you know that's how we do it. It's the mark up. Uh, doing the same problem the equation way, we would say uh, the part is equal to the percent, which we don't know, times the whole. That's how we'd set it up, and then we would divide both sides by 125 oh my gosh that wasn't a 5 come on divide both sides by 125 and we'd still end up with x is equal to 4 but we need that to be a percent so we move it over twice but again it's not 400 it's 300 that's the mark up from a hundred percent went up three hundred percent let's look at another one another mark up this one's about a cheeseburger I think uh, yes McDonald's sells cheeseburgers at a sixty percent markup if Corbin paid a dollar ninety nine for a cheeseburger how much did it cost McDonald's to make good old 100 always goes in the bottom left now here's where it gets a, a little tricky. It says 60% markup, so most people want to put 60 right there. But like we talked about in the last problem, it's a mark up. It's how much above 100%. It's how much above what it cost McDonald's to make do they sell it for. So we actually need 160 to be out of 100. Okay. 160% is what Corbin paid to get that cheeseburger. We want to know how much it cost McDonald's to make it. 
when you do your cross products, you end up with, um, I think I rounded, I think I rounded, approximately $1.24 for McDonald's to make the cheeseburger. So they sold it for $1.99 so they could make some money. They made $0.75 cents on that cheeseburger because they marked it up. The equation for that, part equals percent times whole. Oh, sorry. Got my percent right there. 160% Oh, silly me. But we put it in as a decimal, don't we? That's right. 1.6 times the whole. Divide both sides by 1.6 and you still end up with that $1.24. Okay, so McDonald's making money when, when uh, they sell you a cheeseburger. All right, now let's look at a couple of discounts. A sweater at Kohl's has a 20% discount. How much is the discount on an $18 sweater? Figuring a discount or a markdown is going to be a lot similar. Uh, not really. It's not really the opposite of markups, but it's kind of the opposite of uh, tax and tips that we've been working on. Uh, tax and tips added money to the price of things whereas a discount is going to uh, subtract money from the price of things but either way it's you still figure pretty much the same there's a 20 percent discount we're asked how much is the discount so we can just put the 20 there and the original price of the sweater was 18 dollars cross products will get you three dollars and sixty cents is the discount off of that sweater if you'd like to use the percent equation part is equal to percent times the whole and you do it that way you still get x is equal to three point six three dollars and sixty cents And last one for together. Target has a necklace on sale for $11.40. Its original price was $17. What is the percent of discount? Looking for the percent this time. X over 100. And what was the original price? That was the 17. So that goes down in the total in the of spot. $11.40 is what it's on sale for. So let's do our cross products. And we get 17x is equal to 11.4 times 100. 17x is equal to 11,000, <clears> excuse me, 400. No. That's wrong. 1,140. And when we divide both sides by 17, I'm going to need the calculator. 1140 divided by 17. 67.05888. Oh, goodness. Let's just say 67%. X is equal to 67%. But be careful. The question, what is the percent of discount? If we had 67 up here in for X, 1140 is the part that was paid for the necklace. It was on sale for 1140. It was purchased for 1140. So 67% of the necklace was 1140. If we paid 67 percent, 
What part did we not pay? How much was the discount? 33% is the answer. Does that make sense? 100% is the $17. That's the entire necklace. 1140 is the part that was paid. And if you are paying 67%, then you are not paying 33%. And that's the discount or the markdown. 33%. Okay, markups and markdowns. If you have questions about any of the problems we did today, write them down. Be ready to ask about them in class. And we'll see you soon.